Hi, I'm Brad Thor, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my thriller, The Apostle. Authors like to talk about how much fun it was to write a book. For me, The Apostle was all about how much fun it was to research. I got an unbelievable opportunity, which was to go over to Afghanistan and shadow a black ops team for a while. Had some guys, big fans of my books, and said, how would you like to come over with us and see what your main character, Scott Harvath, actually does for a living? Now, I know men that would dream of pitching for the Yankees or being on the Dallas Cowboys. This was my dream come true, to go on this trip. There was a list of things the team wanted me to do before we went to Afghanistan. Number one, get my affairs in order, which my wife said, okay, if I'm gonna let you go, that one's gotta get done. Number two, get in the best shape possible. And number three, grow your beard. Uh, beard is a sign of virility, masculinity in Afghanistan, and it affects how people relate to you as a, as a man over there. And the idea was they were going to expose me to as much Afghan culture as possible. And what I found fascinating was this Pashtun Wali, this code of honor in Afghanistan, where we didn't go to any villages we weren't already invited to by the village elders. Because we were invited, we were there, obviously their guests, but the code of honor, the Pashtun Wali, meant that if anything happened, if the Taliban came in, whatever, they would fight to the death every last man in that village to keep us safe. The team asked me, we had a day where we didn't have anything scheduled, where did I want to go? And I wanted to go to this particular area near Kandahar. And they went back and forth amongst themselves and they finally said, you know what, no, it's too dangerous going down that way, we're not going to do it. And as it turned out, there was a huge suicide bombing right at the spot I would have been standing at exactly at the time we would have been there. So th as much as I was soaking this all in and I was living this dream experience, it was incredibly, incredibly dangerous. I mean, it's, it's still to this day is incredibly dangerous in Afghanistan. But I think this book is so special. The Apostle would not be what it is had I not gone there and had my own feet on the ground there and soaked all this up so that I could put it into a great thriller for my readers.